It's Madden NFL 24, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Dolphins and the Chargers. All that and more coming up next. We are just a couple miles east of the LAX airport, just off the 405 or the 105 at the beautiful SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Today, it's the opener of the 2023 NFL season, as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the LA Chargers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, there's nothing quite like it. That feeling of beginning another NFL season, and these two squads, they're going to do just that in a moment. And what makes it so exciting is the range of possibilities these teams have before them, because we could be seeing one of these teams earn the Lombardi Trophy in February, while the other, they could earn the number one draft pick in April, or anything in between. And we've got the best seat in the house every step of the way. A new season of NFL football is here, and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports. And no run back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. Leading them out, a fan-favorite underdog, undrafted out of Old Dominion in 2015, Taylor Heineke. Let's face it, you don't see too many Old Dominion alums suiting up under center in the NFL. And in fact, Taylor Heineke, the first ODU quarterback to suit up for a regular season game, not to mention doing well in the playoffs. This guy's an absolute fighter. Fought for every chance he's had in this league. Attitude, determination, those carry over to his teammates very well. Now a deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one good for 37 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. A first carry for Elijah Mitchell. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. But not the graphic that this fan base wants to see week one, Charles. They were hoping to see key acquisitions, some bright spots. Instead, we're talking about injuries, preseason injuries, that have guys missing here in this one. And even in today's football, where everyone does their best to try and have their starters ready for week one, guys still have to practice. They still have to train, and injuries do crop up. You're exactly right about that, though, Brandon. None of the people supporting this team wanted to see that graphic on the screen at the start of this game. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Heineke. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. But that's a down and distance coaches always talk about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long. And you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him, sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did. Yet the pressure was still there, and he ended up coughing it up. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. Leading them out, he played five years at the University of Houston, threw for over 100 touchdowns, the rookie Clayton Toon. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Here's second and three. Toon going to throw it. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one covers 29 yards. First down. Well, there you go, Charles, the first completed pass of his young career. And we expect it not to be his last. Very good to get the first one out of the way, though, as he begins his career. A first red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and ten. Tune. He's going to be 
sacked back at the 23-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Alvin Kamara, a 23-yard run. And the Dolphins are on the board here first in the season opener. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. And we got a few for 2023. A lot are procedural, having to do with deadlines and roster construction and such. But, but two kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. And I really wanted the special teams coaches to be a little bit more involved. But I do understand why the league is doing it. They believe it promotes safety, and it's hard to argue against that. What about, this is the other one, guys can now wear the number zero. We've already seen some make the switch. Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Swift, Braxton Berrios, amongst others. Yeah, and you know something? When you see those guys make that move, I don't mind that at all, all right? A little more expressionism for these guys. I love it. I just think we didn't go far enough. What about double zero? like Jim Otto used to wear, or Kenny Burrow used to wear. Let's add that back to the NFL jerseys. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half, and if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him upright so he can throw the football. Andy on fourth Lee down, here's Andy right. Lee on to kick it away. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Dolphin football. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Toon. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Second and ten. Kamara up the middle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Looking to throw, too. And a throw there going to be incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. And that hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think Automatic about the differences down. between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. 
throwing tune. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion and a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? And it's whom to throw it now. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? The turnover, you just noted it. Punt's better. Drive. Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn it into first downs and hopefully points. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two as they're looking at a second down and nine to go. Now Heineke. And to the right side here, it's Allen. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. Automatic first down. Up the middle, here's Mitchell. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Heineke trying to force it to Allen intercepted picked off by Ronald Darby and they have possession and they have it at the 38 yard line well the timing is everything on a route like this he tried to drive that football into a tight spot and if you're a little early or a little late chances are there's going to be someone there and sure enough this one's going the other way the offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And a nice gain of 21 yards. What a career he continues to have. That catch is number 815. That ties him with Hall of Famer Shannon Sharp. And just think about this. The only people ahead of him in the tight end position and catches, Antonio Gates. Caught. It's the tight end, Kelsey, for a Dolphins touchdown. Travis Kelsey from 17 yards out. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, it's only week one, CD, but right now, this offense, they look in mid-season form. And what we're seeing is the benefits of all their dedication in the offseason. OTAs, mini camps, preseason, you name it, they did it. All that work and preparation, we're seeing them play really well right now. They're making it all pay off. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and it's now 14 to nothing. 
The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. Now Andy Lee will come on to punt this one away. Fair catch, single four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. They begin on the ground with Camaro. 50 yards rushing for him in this first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. Kamara gets it again on second down. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here's Toon. And his throw here is incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. Throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. Taking it about the 16. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it'll be Charger football here as they take over. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Let's go. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots, but what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. Trey Flowers in there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure, and these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, They've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Here's the veteran punter Lee as he sends this one away. 35 yards that time on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. 
the offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys <laughs> have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. But so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. Heineke on first down. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now a second down throw for Heineke. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. On third down, here's Mitchell. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here, as this is toward the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. It looks like we'll have to wait another week to get our first halftime report of the season as we move right along to the second half. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. So first and 10 now from the 30. They start the second half with Kamara. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 80 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. Looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage and that's it. Tackle made that time by Brandon Graham. Now a second and ten. Here's Toon to throw it. That one complete. It's tanked down. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 27 yards there, a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. 
And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. This throw caught right around the six. And the Dolphins are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal. But you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. They'll set up to throw. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Alvin Kamara. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Dolphins are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And it's now 21 to nothing. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Now we'll look at the Chargers' offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. On second down, here's Mitchell. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Partner, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. The offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so, his offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Those are some <laughs> massive men. They work now on second and nine. Let's go. They'll look to throw here. His throw incomplete. This defense trying to do its part, active hands on that play, but their offense hasn't given them much to work with. So they're not going to worry about it. On their side of the ball, all they're concerned about, can they create some scoring opportunities and help out that offense? Trying for Ayuk, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the corner, Bradley Roby. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. That's not one that he's going to want to remember, but he had to get it out of the way at some point, his first career interception. And if he's the guy that they think he is, he's not laughing it off, but he's also not going to let it affect him as the game proceeds. He's going to go back out there, still be the same confident kid, the reason that they drafted him, and go out and play. 40 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. And now it's a bootleg with Heineke. That's complete to Turner. 
call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. They run over center with Mitchell. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. Jadevian Clowney able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Holding offense. Well, they got the ball already. They're not going to risk the yardage and running another fourth down. They decline it. And what was that they taught you in law school, that possession is nine-tenths of the law? I didn't go to law school. Oh, you didn't? I thought you did. Well, I figure I'm going to give that to you anyway. Possession is nine-tenths of the law, and it's nine-tenths of this game, too, having the football counts. You're so litigious. <laughs> oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell him to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, Cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Brings up second and four at the 45-yard line. A man who's been busy this afternoon. It's Kamara again. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy. But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A little surprise pays off on third and one. Pass instead of run. Gets him 15 yards. A give. This is Kamara. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations. These si Caught! It's the tight end, Kelsey, for a Dolphins touchdown. Travis Kelsey. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Dolphins are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that makes the score 28 to nothing. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field, and whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. These fans just kind of beside themselves right now. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Von Bell, and his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. 
partner's bad enough when you just can't hold on to the football. But when your quarterback's throwing it to the other team, that's three interceptions now, four turnovers for the game, you really have no chance to win the football game. Miami's offense set and ready to go. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. And Camaro with a carry there on first down as he works his way forward for a pickup of four. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. Again, it's Camara. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Brett, and every great running backs coach that I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Camara going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. They'll run it with Kamara, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Dicker down to tack on the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Five plays there on that drive. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Set to start another drive, and it's quarterback Taylor Heineke in charge. Rough so far for him. That's the only way to describe it. He's thrown more completions to the other team than he has to his three INTs thus far. Love the description. Rough, rocky, shaky, all of those things. But this is where you find out about a quarterback, isn't it? This is where you find out about your team leader. Can he handle some of that adversity? bounce back and give them better play down the stretch. They still have a chance to win. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Looking to throw, Heineke. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense,